I remember it was 2006. And I was just so hungry for God. I was so desperate for Him. I'd just been through such a dry season, such a dry, dead season. And I was just like, God, is there more for you than this? Is there more of you than I'm experiencing? Because if there is, I want it. I want it at all costs. I was just newly married and I was just saying, God, I want to. God, I want to like love my wife well. I want to do this life well. I want to serve you well, God, but I feel dry. I feel parched. I feel like my heart is just a desert. And God, if, if you're able, I want to experience you without measure. I want to experience you without measure. And I felt him say, how badly do you want me? I said, God, at all costs, I just want you. I just want you. I just want you. I just want you, Jesus. Whatever it costs, God, whatever it is, I want it. I'll have it. So I felt that God wanted me just to give him time. So it was kind of crazy and kind of weird, but I felt that like at 9 p.m. at night, I just lay down on my back in my study or in the lounge room with some worship on just like this. And I just sit there and I just cry out to him. And I go through every prayer list and every request I could give him and muster it. God, I want this. I want to see this changed. And after a few weeks of doing that, I just begin to run out of things to say. I had nothing left. I felt like I'd cried everything I could cry, every every desire that I was asking God for, I just was done asking. And maybe you listening right now and you've been feeling dry and you've been feeling like you're just like a parched land and maybe you feel like you've, been, you've cried as many tears as you couldn't cry. And you're just like, God, I need you to come. I'm out of words. This is for the dry. The Lord's saying he's going to fill you. He's going to pour fresh water over you. It's coming to fill you even right now. So open up, open up your hearts and let it flood you. Let His presence come and wash you, fill you, renew you. And I just prophesy, let the dry deserts become glad. Let the dry deserts become an oasis. That's what I prophesy over you right now. Let the dry places become a, let it become an oasis. Ha <laughs> You know, God, he says over you right now, I told him say, they are my garden of delight. And he calls you his Eden. He calls you his Eden. He calls you his Eden. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you, God. He calls you his garden, his garden of delight. Just like Adam used to walk around and hear the voice of the Father. He's reaching out, he's reaching out. And even as I'm singing this right now, I'm feeling, I'm just feeling you carrying grief and sorrow, feeling like, God, why would you ever visit me? God, I feel so far away from you. How could you even talk to me? Why would you want to talk to me? hear him saying I'm calling out to you can you hear my whisper it's tenderly calling out to you you're not invisible to me I call you my beloved I call you my beloved 
I call you my beloved I call you my beloved This will be the season This will be the season of the rendezvous of God where he comes and meets you And you feel fully known, fully loved God, right now you're stirring up hunger. God, you're stirring up hunger, God. You're stirring up hunger, God. You're stirring up hunger, God. Even right now, Lord, you're stirring up the hunger in us, God. You've been pressing down that hunger and you've been settling for moldy bread and the Lord says, come to the river. Come to the river. So stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Yeah, stir up the river inside you. So I lay there on my back and I had nothing left to say to him. <laughs> nothing left. And that's when I begin to hear his voice. That's when I begin to feel his presence envelop me. That's when I begin to just feel his love wash over me. All this time I'd been talking and speaking and yelling and just crying out, saying, God, where are you? He just wanted just a moment just to be able to respond to me. For months and months and months, I just laid there and he would just heal me. He would, his love would just rush and wash over me. He would just wash over me. And he would just heal things from my past, from my childhood, lies. Things that I just believed about myself, about him, about He's called my life. He began to just perform this heart surgery on me. And it wasn't exposing, it wasn't condemning, it was it was loving, it was pursuing, it was rescuing, it was redeeming, it was to your heart let him just let him you got nothing to lose just let him 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 Have you ever heard the voice of your father? Have you ever heard the voice of your father? It's unlike anything else you'll ever hear in your life. And for those who've never known what it's like to have a loving father, It's the most amazing experience. Waves of approval are just being released over you right now. Waves of affection are being released over you right now. 
many of the behaviors and the things we believe about our identity happen as a byproduct of being disapproved, unloved, cast off, abandoned, orphaned. Right now, that's being healed in you. I break that off your life, the words, the lies. You are not an orphan anymore. You are worth loving and pursuing. He's pursuing you right now. You're listening to this because he pursued you and your heart's crying out for him. Your whole life's purpose is in this right now, this moment with him and the moments to come with you and him. Let's keep hearing Song of Solomon's eight over you. He's setting a seal upon your heart. He's setting a seal upon your heart. There's a deep branding happening right now. There's a deep branding happening right now. There's a deep branding happening right now. It's the Lord. He's saying, you are mine. You are mine. You are mine. I am my beloved's and he is mine. I am my beloved's and he is mine. And he's breaking off every lie off you. He's breaking off every violation off you. Every single thing that happened to you in your past that brought violation. That brought violation. I break that violation off you right now in the name of Jesus. And the behaviors and the things that have come out of that place. The hurt, the pain, the anger, the frustration, the bitterness. Be broken, be gone right now in the name of Jesus. That is not who you are. That is not your future. That is not your destiny. And you don't need that baggage going forward. Be broken off you right now in the name of Jesus. I command every burden, every demonic assignment. Even right now, people, I command, I command every demonic demonic thing that's been hanging around you be broken off your life deliverance is taking place right now in his presence in his affection over you The fire of God is being released right now. The fire of God is being released on this right now. The fire, I release the fire of God. The baptism of love and the baptism of fire. The baptism of love and the baptism of fire. The baptism of affection and the baptism of fire. Baptism, we just pray a fresh baptism of fire, a fresh baptism of fire. Let the fire of God come upon you right now. Let the fire of God come upon you right now. The fire of God come upon you right now. It's the baptism of love and the baptism of fire. Let it run deep into your heart. It's a cleansing fire. Come on, bodies be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Let miracles, creative miracles happen, God, in your glory. Let homes, marriages be restored even right now in your presence, oh God. For we are in an hour of consecration, says the Lord. We're my branding. My arm is branding you. I just see the hand of the Lord is branding hearts. It's an hour of consecration for the nations, not just individually, but for the nations. It's the Lord saying, I'm branding my bride afresh. And they will be known for purity. And they'll be known for love. They will not be the bound bride. No, no, they will not be the bound bride. They will not be the bound bride. They will be a, a bride adorned in splendor and glory, a bride of holiness, a bride of holiness, not of identity assassination and dysfunction, but no, there will be a bride that knows who they are. I prophesy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single person to this person listening to this right now, there's an alignment coming to your life spiritually. Even your soul, even your soul, I speak to your mind. Come in alignment right now with your spirit. No longer, no longer will you be bound. 
and he prophesies over you, you're my beloved. You are 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 my beloved. So shake off the old rags you've been wearing. You can't continue with them. They won't take you to where I need you to go. But my glory, my glory is commissioning you. My splendor, my favor, my approval. It's covering, it's covering, it's clothing and cloaking you right now. That seal, I just see that fiery seal right now. Hearts are just being branded with that fiery seal. That fiery seal is being released over you. And homes are right now being prepared for visitation. Your heart, even right now, is stirring up a hunger and crying out, God, visit me. Visit me, God. Oh, visit me, God. Set a seal upon my heart, God. It's breaking off apathy. It's breaking off disappointment. It's breaking off frustration. It's breaking off rejection. It's breaking off rejection. Rejection. 